I'm sick as fat. I've been working all week. Straight. No days off. My microeconomics class just started two days ago and I didn't even realize until like midnight, right? This is a three week mini class and there's fucking 70 assignments in three weeks. 70. What fucking professor does this? This is insane, like... <laughs> and the fucking alarms won't stop going off. They're broken. I swear to God, they're fucking broken every 30 minutes. This is not okay. It's not. There's also 17 exams in this class. 17 exams in three weeks. Hello. Goodbye, world. <laughs> but, like, I'm not trying to complain. I'm very humble and thankful that I get the chance to go to college, and it's basically free. My work pays for me to go to school. But it's just the fact that it's so much work, and I literally only have two, two classes after this until I'm able to graduate, and then I'm completely freaking done. So yeah, I just basically keep reminding myself of what it would be like if I hadn't started college at all. Like, where would I be, not only financial-wise, but like job-wise? I would probably have the worst, horrible, working retail type of job. Like. And then on the other hand, I tell myself that I'm almost done and I only have two more classes, right? Until I can get a stupid piece of paper with my name on it saying that I went to school. And then I think about like what kind of job and what kind of financial situation is this going to put me in? And then also like sometimes I get doubts about my degree. like. I think to myself, I'm never going to find a job in this degree. Like, it's completely useless. Why did I decide to go down this path? Like, I could have gotten, like, a pilot's license or, like, something within the amount of time that I've spent going to school. And it's embarrassing for me because at family functions, they'll always ask me, like, oh, are you almost done with school? Or, like, what are you doing? Um... And I'm almost 23 years old, and I still don't freaking know what I want to do. It's embarrassing, and it's quite upsetting sometimes, but um, you really just have to think about, like, what's going to make you happy? What's a job that you're going to do for the rest of your life that you will actually enjoy and have fun and love and want to wake up to and go to every day? So I've kind of just gotten this degree that I'm about to finish just to get a degree just to say I have a degree it's not necessarily something that I'm looking forward to going to work to do every day like it's a management business management and administration degree like I know there's a bunch of jobs out there that I could do but it's just like I feel like everything is so specialized like human resources or administration or like health admin like working in a hospital like everything's very specific and I haven't found that specific section that I want to study and go into I one day I want to have my own business that would be f awesome I would love doing that but it's just like I don't have experience in much of anything I don't have much experience in any of these sectors in business because I've been going to school and I've been working at the same job for three, three and a half years. Like, I just, I don't know what I want to do. And it's very upsetting to me. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, you're so young. You have all this time to figure it out. And it's like, 
I've spent three years trying to figure out what I want to do and I still can't figure it out. Like, how long is it going to take me? Because I really don't know. But I know everything happens for a reason. Uh, God made me pick this degree for some reason. I went down this path for some reason. So I guess everything's going to work out in the end. I don't know. We'll just see because that's how we roll. We just let things happen and we react later, whether it be good or bad, whatever. Um, thanks for listening to me rant. Uh, I know I don't really post a whole lot of me, but I'm trying to get used to the camera and talking and putting things out in the public that I normally keep to myself because it it is very intimidating, so... Thank you.